What up dudes, I'm back. It's time to dive in with the awesome Clawsome, and you can start by reminding me to never say that again. <laughs> I'm a little bit nervous about this one because I've been messing around with the claws and besides maybe like one or two things, I'm, I'm thinking it might be kind of tricky to use these weapons. Like, I mean, every single weapon so far, I've kind of felt that way about in one way or another until I kind of get in and start fighting actual enemies. But these claws, they're not bad or anything. They're actually like, they're really cool. I just don't know what I want to do with them in terms of like my kill strategy. But just to go over what they can do, the normal neutral attack is actually a nice little uppercut that transitions nicely into aerial attacks, if that's what you want to do. Very similar to what the scythe weapon was doing. The forward and attack is a nice little one, two, three that results in you once again doing a somersault that leaves you airborne. So you can do airborne attacks if you want. The down attack is a really cool because these claws are actually attached to like a rope. So you kind of fling them around a little bit like a like a sickle as well, which is, you know, I didn't expect that. So I'm kind of surprised. The up attack is similar and kind of reaches and pulls dudes down. So I guess the neutral is like your, your typical launch and the up one is like a duo factor launch. And you can probably just like combo that into a neutral anyway. Your jumping neutral is a nice little spinny. It's not quite a helicopter move. Sad face for me. I love helicoptering enemies in the air, but we can do that anyway. The jumping up is this cool, like, backflip kick, which is kind of, like, wild and rad. I do like it. Has good launch potential. The down air is a nice little double-handed fist spike. It's pretty good if you hit them in the sweet spot right there as you just saw, which I'm not very good at, but you get a nice spike out of it either way. There we go. And the forward air is probably the best move that it has as far as I'm concerned for all its normal moves. It throws it out in the front with this really nice lingering hitbox. And as you can see, it multi-hits really well. So if we were gonna stack elemental effects, be pretty good for that, but also has like just good damage in general and good knockback as well. Like if I hit this guy right here, Okay, so the knockback is not what I... Th Maybe I was just, like, imagining things when I was messing around. Okay, knockback, not amazing. Let's go over to the launches. Now, the launches all have something very similar in common to the scythe in that it's like a... Like a you actually launch the, the fist. Now, if it grabs a dude, it pulls them back. And their backside, by the looks of it, is always facing you, which means this would synergize pretty well with the raccoon spirit, which does more damage if someone is back turned to you. Or at least, I think, does more damage that way. And then you can do, like, I don't know, neutral launch, start doing some air juggles, stuff like that, and you can do whatever. But something else you can do with this, and I probably should kill this one because it's about to die on me, is if you fire off the fist and then hit your triangle launch button again, you actually teleport, well, I shouldn't say teleport, you grapple yourself over to it and automatically hit it with an attack. Let me just come over to this side. Which also, by looks of it, if you're close to a wall, it'll bounce them, it'll launch them. So there's a lot of like, I don't know, cool little smooth things you can do here and there. Here are my masks. I have not looked at this since the end of the last video, mind you. So Mask of the Omen Forge, first given the Omen Forge has already fulfilled its duty, although it appears a dormant power still lies within. Right? Meanwhile, we have Mask of Sharbara. I've, dude. I never looked at this. So the other video has gone out and I never even found this spot. I wasn't even sure what the masks do. Interesting. Deal 15% damage when you have over 85% health. For two seconds upon being hit, deal damage to enemies to recover up to 30% of your lost life. Amazing. I really like this. And you can enhance it. Well, I'm going to equip the mask of Sharbara, of course. We're going to go for a mask run. Nice. I really do like this. So... I'm going to cross my fingers that we get the right spirits because I want to like start diversifying the spirits that we find. Last time it was a lot of Shabra. This time around, I'd be okay with some Phoenix. I'd be okay with some Wolf. I'd be very okay with some Raccoon, I think. Some, some you know, backstab, hit the dude in the ass kind of shenanigans because it's one that we haven't really explored in depth just yet. So let's see what we get. It would seem as though I've been met with the game's scaling of difficulty. Stray souls have gathered near the sanctum, purify them at the altar of tribute to activate it without sacrificing health. That's kind of neat. Eventually all souls must reach the brink. Carrying them with you will make the journey more difficult. Even after purification, the effects will still linger. Okay, so 
We're setting up difficulty. The trade-off is that you get to activate the altar stuff without losing life, but you are making the run overall more difficult. You can start with various benefits at the cost of resources. Set the first Divine Spirit of the run by offering Dormant Embers. Set an enchantment to start the run by offering Combat Runes. And then set a Relic to start the run offering Esoteric Scrolls. So you, you can use excess or leftover resources for this. That's interesting. Oh, I see, I see. I don't really have any of these, though, for increasing my challenge. I imagine, was this an early access thing as well that I've just not seen just yet? I'm going to start the run without doing this because I'm still in the process of saving a lot of these resources so that I can um, upgrade myself. Okay. i got to be mindful that the forward one, two, three... That front flip right there might whiff if my target is too small. The Phoenix! I was saying I might go with the Phoenix, Celesh. Hmm, your attacks deal more damage and inflict burn on enemies. I do have good multi-hit on some of my, um, like my jumping attack, my jumping forward, my fair, this right here. I'm all about this. Yeah, we'll set some dudes on fire, some max life increase. I'm about it. There we go. Set them on fur, dude! Backflip this stupid grasshopper. I hate them. I hate them so much. Give me some more of these. Thank you. And I need to remember that once we get to the ice area, the final area, I need to start double dipping into these rewards from the statue guy. Yeah, I'm kind I'm whiffing. I need to maybe like do some different attacks, maybe. Maybe. Uppercut, uppercut, uppercut. Die. I love setting dudes on fire in this. I remember Celesh's... I think it was for the... Was it the bow? I can't remember exactly. Oh, dude, lots of Celesh. Let's go. I can't remember exactly what it was, but there was... Bam! Oh, dude, he just jumped up into that and got smashed! No, don't. Stupid. Take this. I wanted to... Damn, I wanted to pull him to me, but this, this little gerbil hamster thing is in my way. I got hit by him. I will not tolerate this. I do have to get some weapon runes because I haven't finished unlocking the bow or the gloves yet. I do need to get them unlocked either way. For future runs, dash creates flames that burn. Enemy select with five stacks of burn will combust. That's pretty good to get. After you air jump, gain increased cooldown speed. Give me the dash. May as well start setting... I, was the was it Firefox? I believe the fire like skill was a Firefox kind of move, wasn't it? I, I vaguely remember that. No, stop it. Come here. <laughs> Get up a cut. <laughs> oh, nice sweet spot hit. Yeah, that that fair. It's really really good, dude. Now if I throw this. Bam! Oh, dude! Okay. Okay. And again, some of the bigger enemies, my forward attack would be pretty... Ooh, purple launcher. You shouldn't have. Everything else here is good, but it's a purple launcher. I've, I've kind of just got to take it anyway. Like, it'd be really, 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 really wrong to pass up on it. I'll get more max life for now, and we'll still end up getting a relic on the way up anyway, because I'm going to hug left and hit Celeste. So we get relic and more max life one way or another. There we go. Uh, uh, uh. Come over here. Uh, I love that the, the grapple will, will AoE. No, don't do it. Yeah, that, that part of the grapple, multi-hitting, uh, like AoEing, is really good. No, 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 no. Behave yourself. Behave yourself. Jump up here. Whoa, buddy boy. No, 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 no. I see you. No, 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 no. Set them all on fire. Damn, that burning is... Oh! Set them up. Smack. Right in the underbelly. That's working so well, dude. That's working so well. Come here. Bam, get hit. And because I'm hitting twice, I get two stacks of flame straight away from that? Oh yeah, this thing was designed for setting up status effects, man. It does so well. Oh, if I get the combustion, 
so that I can make dudes explode from stacking up enough flame. Get spiked. Get spiked. Get hit with that. No. No, don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. Yeah. No, I dash. I want to go past it. I'm an idiot. I deserve everything. Yeah, just set a lot of fire on him. You're dead. <laughs> you are dead. Give me my phoenix powers. So we have flaming leap, engulf yourself in flames, and rocket your body forwards. That's our, our Firefox. Your attacks and launches deal more damage and shield damage when hitting enemies directly from, ab from above. So my spikes do more. I don't know. I might need the extra wings before I get Meteor Smash. I wouldn't mind getting like Firefox first though. Let me just double check. Yeah, it is exactly how I remember it. Okay. I want a relic. I don't care. I just want a relic. Yep. And I can aim it straight up. Don't be cheeky. It, he's being che- I, I hate you. I hate you. I hate you. I can see my healing effect, by the way. I'm getting like little one and two life back each time because I get hit. And then if I tag him back, I heal back a little bit. So I got to pretend it's like rallying out of Bloodborne. And we're all good. No. Look at the angle, dude. Cheekiest. Son of a... Ooh. Catch him with this. Catch him with this fair. Take this fair. Take my fair. Easter egg scroll, please. I do need some more of that. The Merciful Skull Statue. Deal 20% more damage while there is at least one undamaged enemy in the room. Kind of tricky to work with, but maybe I can upgrade it. Who knows? Ah, thank you. God, what just amazing. So much Selesh. Aha, flamethrower. Although, combusting enemies. But then again, if I get flamethrower first. I can't, do I? Yeah, I, I like flamethrower. I should like, fl that's all of it. Yeah, 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 this is fine. So I've got all of the main things are now set up for it. And then let's see how this does against first boss lady. Flame on! Flame on, you scrub! Oh dear. Nope. Nope. Um, I'd have to just fair you to death, lady. Oh my god. No! I tried to avoid it so much. Oh, she got destroyed. I almost, I almost kept her in a nice stun lock for the majority of that. Yeah, it's coming back to me now. Keeping her controlled. You just need fast attacks. I know launches are a lot of fun. I didn't use a single launcher against her. It seems just more beneficial that once you break the armor, you just start looping them with some fast attacks before they can recover. When your launcher attacks, attaches, I should say, to an enemy, create a large magnetic force that deals damage and pulls enemies in. I can pull in multiple dudes? Ooh. Gain up to 75% damage when using a long-ranged launcher rush based on the distance traveled. Ah, so when I when I rocket over to them, I do more damage depending on how far away they are. That's pretty good because I like that part of it. I like grappling myself to them. But this one looks like it's more designed for pulling multiple dudes to me, which is good for grouping and good for dealing AoE. But Rocket Rush is more my style. I'm less about pulling dudes. If if I had the the Raccoon Spirit, this one would be good because it would pull all the dudes to me and I think they back turn to me at the same time. So give me this. Damage to bosses, attack speed, regular attack damage is good and boss damage, I don't have anymore. But this is good so far. I want to I wanna see how much more damage we can deal. Oh, and there's the Raccoon, of course. Of course you do it now. Let's get some max life increase. Hello, bird friend. Yeah, you thought you could escape this? No, I'm sorry. No. Oh, I almost jumped into that. Dude, the fair is not fair. This, this button is despicable. It's despicable. In a game where using the term sword normals doesn't really make sense because everything is a sword normal because we just have weapons. It feels disgusting. He got knocked into the plant! 
Look at this. What a goob. Ah, oh, no way. So much stuff just happened right there. I got lost. I got lost in the source. Help me. I'm, I'm getting lost in the source, dude. No. No. Fair. 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 Get eaten. Fair and get eaten. Spike you. Oh! <laughs> Quite the spike indeed. Weapon runes. I need to unlock stuff. Give me this. I do want to kind of try the aspect of thorns. When you slay an enemy, nearby enemies have a chance to... Oh, wait. Nearby enemies have a chance to just be stunned and stop fighting. That'd be really cool to try. I might get the Aspect of Thorns first because it's blue, though. But if I get a chance, I'll grab that other one that has a chance to stun dudes. It sounds broken. It actually just sounds straight up busted. But we'll have to see if it's as good as it sounds. I tried my best. The, the fair is... Oh, damn. That's sick looking. So, no, I thought it just leave like a little patch of thorns on the ground. No, 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 no. It actually leaves a trail. Like, like it follows the trajectory of their body. Ah, oh, dude. Yeah, okay. For ya! <laughs> For ya! <Ha! laughs> no, don't. Holy shit. Yeah? Dude! Oh, it almost got it! That is sick. That is sick and wrong. That is disgusting! I love that. This, this, this might be my favorite air fighting weapon right now. That is, that is amazing. It's just flip, flip, flip. It's so much faster than the tornadoes. An extra jump. Solar Genesis. Inflicted with stacks of burn for five seconds when they spawn into the room. Ooh, they just get two stacks immediately? I, I do kind of want the extra jump, though. While enemies are inflicted with status effects, they also receive more damage. Oh, jump first. Jump first. We can do a lot of other stuff later. Do I get my chance for... No, I don't. Neutral attacks deal more damage. My neutral isn't that bad. I just don't think I'm using it as much. This one's pretty good. Revenge is genuinely pretty damn useful. We'll move out with this. I'm so glad I got another Celeste too, because I was passing it passing it up to, to get that, that cool fight right there. And a Celeste in the shop. It's working out. Status effect duration has increased. Bonus damage at the start of combat rooms, but this effect decreases. Yeah. Now that I've got my triple jump, I could do some Meteor Smash stuff. Although... Your attacks and launches. I was going to say, I could jump up above them and do Firefox straight down, but it doesn't count. I don't have any re-rolls either. Uh, I might get Bonfire first then. I'm really not spiking as much. I'm just, I'm just not. I'm not. That guy's coming out here now. We're only in the second area. You can end up having to fight him this early? I had no idea. Dude. Get in the thorns. Get in the... <laughs> but I was doing that. I was fairing. I was the one doing the fair, you piece of shit. No. No! Oh, shit! Okay, explosive dude over there being an explosive prick. Fair. 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 Flamethrower. Fair. Die. Wait, that guy died? You d How did you die? You were over here spitting bombs and shit. Doesn't matter. Before I forget. Yes, I saw it. You're over here like, yes, please don't forget. I saw it. Yes. I think with five stacks of burn will combust, dealing area damage. I do want this. Ah, oh, dude. Extra dust, nice and early, but blue combust. Damage, damage, damage. I do. I know money. Money matters. I should go and fight him, right? Like, I'm going to get more stuff for, for beating him. Okay, buddy. Hey. 
how am I supposed to start a combo on you when everything that you do... Now. Now we do it. Ooh, okay. He doesn't like... Oh my god. Okay. I can do this just by playing it really safe. Oh my god. You're a butthead, dude! Oh, that doesn't... He does Dude. If if you don't... He, he doesn't combo. You, you can't... Okay, we just poke him then. I can't... I can't smash bros this guy. I have to just poke him because he does not like playing the same rules. Nah. I'm just gonna keep hitting you like this, dude. What the hell is that?! Dude! I've... He's actually doing other attacks for once. Dude, I'm, I'm so screwed. I'm so screwed. His window for comboing him is really tough. I need to find a way to get in there and do better with that. So, base chance to crit or overlapping enemies 30% more damage, we'll do that. I'm, I'm dying, man. I'm dying here. I need, yes. I was gonna say, we must be close to the- Yes, dude! Okay, so give me this. Give me this. Can't afford the other stuff, don't care. 134 life and a dream. We can do this, we can do this. We're practically just normal health, like, if we didn't get any upgrades for our life whatsoever, we can do this. Easy. Flamethrower straight away. I- I- I, I lost track of what the hell just happened. I missed. I missed. Yep. I'm- I'm- My attack is launching me into the air and I'm getting hit by the arrows. That's what's happening. Alright. Bow dude- Whoa! Bow dude is very weak. This is good news. Oh dear. Oh, okay. I'm trying to dash, dude. I'm trying to dash out of that. Oh, I almost... Dude. I was fucking him up. <laughs> What a cool combo! I was like, bam, 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 bam! Just uppercut kicks, uppercut kicks, uppercut kicks. I'm taking you to heaven! <laughs> oh, I'll take you to heaven before I send you to hell. <laughs> that's a reference. That's a reference. Let me know if you know where that's from. Allow me to send you to heaven before I send you to hell. Your launcher has extra range. Okay, that's great. I'm not using it, but if I have more range to it, I might actually use it some more. To be fair. After displacing an enemy with a launcher pull, your attack deals more damage for two seconds. That's after pulling them to me. Nah, I want the one that's going to let me get to them easier. So let me get this. Let me get this. Let me get... Nah, I'm gonna... Wait, I'm not going to worry about those. I'm going to wait and grab some other ones. There's some like good damaging and attacking ones I can get instead. Alright, what's the goal here? I kind of want to go up the middle and get to this middle spot for the elite fight. I shouldn't have to fight the bear anymore, so I guess we just go health, crystal, either a relic or the dice. Yeah, we just go straight up for now. I could get some more money, but I, I really prioritize life now. Knowing especially that I have to, you know, do this. God damn, I gotta be, I gotta be careful about these armored dudes, man. Ah, oh, you can't even do that. Yeah, get shattered, you dickhead die. Gotta be super cautious. Super cautious. We can do that. We can do that. Very cautious. Oh, you're kind of making the rules for me now. I see. Yep. Nope. Nope. You're being weird. <laughs> oh, I was trying so hard.
I mean, I got caught by the thorn, but I'm okay with that. Little bitch, that was what I was gonna do. There we go. <laughs> I was just trying to set it up. It was inevitably gonna hit. I just needed to get you in the right position. Um, so I could upgrade my combustion. I could upgrade my flamethrower, be kind of good. Combustion, I get five more damage with this. I get seven, and, and Scorching Bolt. Ah, oh, that's a... Ah... Uh, flamethrower is really good. It is really good. Uh, yeah, I want, I want to upgrade that. I know it might be, like, the wrong choice, but it really does feel kind of nice. Okay, do I, I want dice. Give me dice. There we go. Uh, my, 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 my Firefox. I tried the Firefox and I don't think it was ready yet. I made a big mistake right there. There we go. Nope. Nope. There we go. Sometimes I forget I have cooldowns. You know what I'm saying? Need more combat runes and two dice so I can get some better rods. Now, I want to go here. This is going to be guarded by a mini boss, but we should get much better rewards. Um, at the very least, I think you can get, like, cool synergy things as well. What? E excuse you. I did not get to dodge fast enough. Excuse you. I need for you to... I can't believe I was in range for that. My dash cooldown, dude. What? I wasn't in the... Oh, he spits rocks? I didn't even see the rocks. I'm looking above me. All right, we just got to do this slow and steady. You just can't rush this, that's all. Just don't rush it. There we go. And then what we get? We get... Meteor Smash, Ravaging Growth, and Time is of the Essence. Whenever you recover life, gain bonus damage until you were hit. Yeah, that's not gonna... <laughs> Your multiplier increases faster and cannot drop below 1.2. That's actually gonna be pretty good for us, for getting more Essence. Your attacks and launches deal more damage from hitting directly above. Yeah, I'll go with that. Give me a better multiplier, please. Now, if I want to get to... If I want to get to my Phoenix, i got to go left, which is pretty good. We don't have enough relics. Let's get some more relics. No, burn. Fair. Fair. Name so because it is. Fair. 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 Don't complain about it. It's fair. Oh my god, my, my, my standing... No, piss... God damn, my standing... Um, this. My standing launch. I need to remember that my neutral... My neutral is my better, faster... Yeah, my uppercut. Standing. If I do this, it takes a second to come out. It doesn't hit as quickly. This, much faster. It's all about speed, dude. I'm not as worried about power. I'm worried about speed. Netherbound Bowl. Whenever you defeat a boss, gain 15% dust based on your current total. So save more. If I go into a boss fight with lots of dust, I'll get more dust back. Except I normally spend all of my dust before I even get to a boss fight. So, you know, I'm just saying. You're really starting to piss me off. <laughs> this dickhead. Die already. I know you're going to. I know you want to. Oh, 
I love the aerial play, dude. I love the Phoenix. Look at this. No! Flamethrower. My neutral launch! Okay. That's fine. That's fine. Weapon rune. I've got four. I need more esoteric scrolls. I need to get at least like a little bit of balance. After you air jump, get increased cooldown speed until you land or touch a wall. Incandescence. Steal area damage, looks burn. Your scorching bolt deals increased shield damage. If your bolt slays an enemy or breaks its shield, refresh the cooldown. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Although... I can't tell how many more options I've got. I've got some dice. I don't really mind the bird of prey thing too much. I'm not that worried about it. Ah. Well, now I should just take this because now it's the epic version. Um, starter rooms is okay. When you slay burned enemies, they pass their burn stacks. Nah, give me the metallurgy. I think I'm at the point now where I can just about say I'm I'm done with the phoenix almost. Like, I think I've got most of the good ones I wanted to get. No. No, you got a funny attack. But so do I. <laughs> you goon. No, don't. Dude, the flamethrower is destroying shields now. I love it. Love it. Oh, dude. Okay, flamethrower is all I need for shields now. Flame on! Right, slay an enemy nearby dudes have a chance to be stunned. I was gonna go with this. I'm, I'm still doing it. I'm still doing it. Slay dudes, everyone else might get stunned. 40% chance, pretty good odds. Sounds like straight up broken if you ask me. Heal. And because I've got that effect that I get a bit more dust, I might leave it here. Because I don't super, super, super need the wolf. Neutral deals more damage. See, I would use my neutrals more, but I just forget. I haven't even been using my um, my launcher very much because I don't need to. I can just get in their face and just start going. Bah, 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 bah. I'm hitting them with that, you know, that ah, ta, ta, the fist of the North Star. I don't even have to be distance, dude. I can get right up in their face. Um, deal two percent damage if your previous attack hit the enemy. This effect resets when your attack misses. That's kind of good. I'll go with calculated. I can't verify or, you know, confidently say that uh, maybe I should just get the damn wolf anyway. Some is better than none, right? Like 141 isn't nothing. There we go. 10% less boss life. I'll take it. It's still handy. It's still good. What am I saving for? I don't need to save for anything. All right, old man. Yes, old man. Oh, I gotta be careful, dude. I gotta be careful, because I'm- I've got an uppercut. I've got an uppercut attack here. That's gonna put me in- Ah, shit, I forgot! Damn it. I went through him to the other side? I'm sorry I'm getting quiet, but I am I am trying my best to not bunger this up. Oh damn. Oh, dude, that was a really good slam from you, Mr. Big Ugly Annoying. No! Is it because I use the word ugly? I'm sorry. Got him. Flame on! Dude, flamethrower is sick. I love the flamethrower. Flamethrower is sick. Give me this, give me this. Get me out of here. Loving it, loving it, loving it. Now, lady, this is my last chance to get upgrades here, right? So, after you hit enemy with a sweet spot, deal 30% damage for three seconds. I'm not good at the sweet spot hits. That's like in the beginning when I was showing you the the down air that can hit, you know, just BAM! And it's like that really satisfying... Yeah, you, you understand what a sweet spot hit is. You're watching this, you know what I'm talking about. It's got it right there in text on the screen. I'm not good at it, so I'm not gonna take it. When your launcher's blade hits a wall, it creates an explosion. I'm trying to not have that happen. 
attack speed and perfect launch. Ah, I'm running out of room here. I mean, I may as well take this. There's no harm. I'll just leave it like that for now. I don't recall if the, I don't think. Is there one more lady? I, I don't think there is one more lady I can get, is there? No, I think I'm kind of screwed. I want more life. If I can go into these fights with as much max life as possible, that'd be kind of funny. Like, I'm really, really considering just taking as many life boosting rooms as I... Okay, that's concern... Okay, concerning guinea pig rat looking thing. Want to come fight me face to face so I can mess you up for shooting bloody... What, vines? Bloody th th vines. Thorns at me? You rude little dick. Oh god. It's Ramael. No, stop. No, stop that. <laughs> Get up and get kicked into the wall. Okay, this is the last room, so if I... Pissed you off, didn't I, buddy boy? I'm just gonna start doing that. I'll, I'll do... Oh. Okay. <laughs> Show enough, my friend. Get in the air. Get fucked up. Get set on fire. Get in the air. You bitch. Get fucked up. Get in the air. <laughs> the, okay. The, dude! <laughs> I love these fists with this flame bird setup. Oh my god, it's so good. Um, from above, I, I'm not good at this, man. I think I've got most of the stuff I- just give me a Meteor Smash, it's given it to me so much now, I might as well take it. The wolf, however, maybe I do my reroll here. Can go beyond its means. Then again, hitting someone that misses me, I think Woof Punish genuinely might be kind of good, because I don't know, once again, if someone fires a projectile at me and I dodge through the projectile, right, let's just say that, I dodge through the projectile. Do, you know, do, does, uh, does that count? Because I'm going to be dodging through a lot of projectiles in this final boss fight coming up. I'm just saying. Firefox, get hit with it. No. Yeah? 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 Darn. Stupid fish. Nope. Flame on. Cook this fish. Look at him taking damage. Look at him. Look at him suffer. Look at him suffer. Not suffering enough. Suffer more. I'm gonna hit this fish right in the jaw. You ready to see me hit this fish right in the jaw? I'm gonna hit this fish right in the goddamn jaw. Ready? Ura! Oh shit, I missed. Ura! Wait. Ugh! <laughs> I, I got that fish right in the jaw. Okay, the thorns I could upgrade. Scorching attack? That's actually a. Dude, that's a huge bet. Yes. I need more jimmies. Although I did say I was going to get. Oh, I could take more gem. Oh. I've got life on the right. I've got gems. I might. I'm going to get the, the raccoon either way. There we go, I can crush you. Oh, I can get... I haven't been keeping an eye out for the stones. I feel like I've probably done a pretty bad... The hell? You recovered so quickly! God damn, my dash just did not go far enough. And you ate the cooldown on my goddamn Firefox. Piece of shit. There we go. Sick. Love it. I love how this is working, dude. It works so well. Bonus dodge chance after a dash. Love it. We had that last time. I don't even know how good it was, but it's it's just nice to have. Now, dash deals more damage, gain more shield damage. Chance to run away if enemies from spawning. Nah, I was gonna say if any of these things could carry over like more damage from my attack into the boss rooms, because we've got 
One, two, three, four. Ooh. From here onwards, it should count, right? It should matter. Jams would help, but I want to make myself thick. Yeah, I want Vitality. I've done Vitality the whole time. I want to get real thick. Oh, shit. Right when I got there, too. All right, my double flamethrower because it broke the shield. You need to be mindful of that. You little bitch. I hate you. These stupid... Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Just come up here. Just stay up here. It's safe up here. Look at him bouncing and spreading thorns, dude. I just said I'm going to stay up here, and then I immediately come down. Oh, my God! Yep, 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 yep. Okay, that was good, that was good. Grab this, and... Yeah, we out of here. We out of here. I have no need to get a Yamphus. I guess I just, I, I stay true and just keep going with the with the, the solo Phoenix. And don't worry, like, the build variety, you can do whatever you want, really. I'm just doing solo, or at least, you know, as close to mono element builds purely for the meme, for the, for the sake of just having a lot of, like, synergy with itself. But you can, and probably should, start mixing elements together if you want to get, like, you know, some really cool some cool things happening. I understand that there's now um, like true synergies. Like if you have two two dudes from different types that just happen to synergize together, you'll get um, special benefits, which I kind of want to start getting into that. So you've got like really cool stuff that you can find, and I, I wanna I wanna see how cool they get. You know, I need to. I was gonna say, I need to flamethrower that. Yeah, three flamethrowers back to back. Look at that. Disgusting, dude. Ooh, I got that double snatchy. You weren't ready for it. Ha 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 ha. Uh, okay, so. They also receive 6% more damage from status effects. So if I had things like freeze and electricity and stuff like that, all the confusion effect. So this is really good if you're having like. Uh, like a, what, what is it? A rainbow build, where you start having a lot of different status effects all at once. Um, when inflicting a stackable status effect, chance to apply more. That's really good, because we are working with combustion right now. So, if I can stack fire and just have it, like, rapidly hit five stacks each time, we'll keep combusting them. Almost enough to break your shield, but just not quite, eh? Stay there. I want you to stay in harm's way. I do not want you to get free. Look at this thing bouncing around trying to catch me, by the way. Ravenous little shit that it is. Yeah, you like that? Yeah. Double flamethrower. Some slick uppercuts. Oh dear! How did I avoid that? Ah, oh, you smart ass. You're so clever, aren't you? Lot of adversaries chasing me. I just need to. Yeah. Now, what we need to do some fair. Fair is what we need, bro. He's still alive. You don't die until this shit dies, do you? Yeah, you're just combo fodder until this annoying little shit over here breaks, aren't you? Oh, this guy is super stuck. <laughs> Does this thing even break? Or is it the other way around? Oh, you've got to get merged back together. This whole time, I never knew how this guy worked. It just kind of worked out in my favor. Fair enough. Drinking from the fountain. Don't worry about that. A random amount of dust for error in a new room. Deal more damage in a room based on the amount of enemy. Waves spawn. Don't know if the boss counts as one there. I'll do a reroll real quick just in case. 
Go down attack and up attack, deal more damage. There we go, 30%. That's good for, for us. I'm, I'm doing up attacks. I'm doing some down attacks. I did break the rock. Good, okay. We're out of here. We're on our way to the final boss. I got lots of money, dude. I should have spent some earlier. With stacks of burn... When they spawn into the room. No. Um... Give me a bird of prey. And then we'll take... We'll take this one. Lunar Terminator is pretty good. And then this. There we go. I'm full on life. I've got way too much cash left over, but we can head in and battle. This is... You. Oh, I don't know how this is going to go, man. I'm scared. Man's got a straight up grapple. Okay, that goes full all the way around. Full three step. You know, I fought dad enough in Skull to know that I should be... Okay. Nah. I can't, I can't catch him. I need... Oh my god. Can't catch... No. I gotta be like... Jeez, okay, I didn't think... I thought you had like a cooldown on that, dude. No coolies. I get you. Oh, every, every, every time. I refuse to believe that you are just doing that super well. Yeah, he just cancels out. You, you can't, um... Nah, you can come over here. See, the problem is, dude, I've got a flamethrower. You don't. He got a grab, though. He got a grab. Oh, cheap. Cheap. This guy's harder than the final boss. I'm gonna say it right now. Whoever this dude is, this dude should be the final boss. He's way harder than that lady is. Like, not even by a little margin, dude. By like, the biggest of margins. He is far more difficult. This is like, the boss fight. As long as I don't get hit by that. No! I gotta figure out where he's vulnerable because he, he recovers from being st like vulnerable within one second. If you haven't hit him the minute he's vulnerable, it's too late. And even then, you need to like have... I don't want to say a perfect, but a really goddamn good... Um loopable combo on him that you can kind of mash out really quickly and keep him stun locked but i think he's designed to break free from that really like easily i think him and the final girl these um later game bosses don't like they don't want you to be able to stun lock them super easily like that's just the way that it's meant to be no i see what you're doing Bro. Bro. <laughs> what did we say about taking up more of my time when I know you're gonna die? God damn, you little fish looking thing. I just gotta get you guys. Did he just send himself? Okay, fair enough. I just gotta knock him off the screen. I'm trying to, like, juke them and learn how to fight them and do... No. Just knock them off the screen, dude. I just spiked that guy unintentionally. I was just chasing. I'll bayonetta you, dude. 
<laughs> you can't escape it. It will happen. Oh, the balls. Oh my God, you are so annoying with your little balls everywhere. Firefox straight down. How he went off the screen though. Lies and slander. Fine, just burn to death. Suffer a fate worse than getting knocked off the screen. Actually burn to death. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh. Fine. Just keep falling for it and burning then, dude. Think I care? I will keep looping you. As many times as it takes. No! <laughs> You're scaring me now, dude! Don't! No, if I... Come on, flame on! Come on, yes! No. Did I just go over? I took myself! Shit! I did the ultimate blunder. But if this was a real... Come on now. We all know if this was a real... I would have won. That was it. I won. Burn to death. But there. Get dashed in. Get dashed at. Get dashed at. My burn damage needs to go up. I'm not... My burn's not doing enough damage. Okay. Lots of stuff to spend. I guess tabula rasa because... That doesn't make sense or doesn't matter. This is okay. I guess I take incandescence because it has the higher chance of actually doing something, but 10 area damage for two seconds every second. My multiplier is locked at 1.2, so it wouldn't be too hard to get there, I guess. We just do that. And then I can take all of this and, and be fine. Yeah, we got enough. Okay, so movement speed's kind of nice. So I can get down there and actually start hitting her after I dodge through some of her balls. Because I'm not going to have the cheese factor. I do have a good launcher that I can throw. But the point is, in my last build with um, my ricocheting echo ball was destroying projectiles for me. If I just mindlessly throw my launcher disc into this boss, balls are going to come out and hit me still. Like, I'll just pull myself into balls. I don't want to do that. I don't want to do that. Advanced all cooldowns become electrified five seconds. That's pretty good. I'll take the movement speed though. I want to go fast. Now, base crit. I'm not taking moon scar. It's a really fun thing to use, but it's also very tricky to use. Sharp claws. Sharp claws. <clears throat> okay, we got all the stuff. Max life. There is a chance. There is also a second revive life thing that you can unlock, but I don't have it yet. So all I have is the life I have right now. All right. All right. All right. Okay, fair. Fair and balanced. Should have done that. She just, okay. Don't do that. Time to play it a little bit more carefully. Didn't want to go off. Go off, queen! <laughs> Bitch! I should Firefox there, but I just imagine she's going to teleport. Like, there's no... Ah, I went far too... Forward too far. Did I just spike her by accident? There we go. I gotta hit you with it at least once, ma'am. I'm sorry. Yeah, she is so much more manageable than that other dude. Devs. Devs. I don't know if this is with the intent, if it was meant to be this way, that the other guy was more of like a final final boss difficulty wise, and this lady just kind of acts as like the story boss, so to speak. But that is exactly the mood that I'm, the, the feeling that I'm getting from this fight is that she is 
infinitely more manageable. For a start, you can knock her off the screen. But although I imagine maybe it's just because I'm early in the fight. Maybe this is one of those situations where, oh, Beals, this is only normal mode. Once you start fighting, like, like true darkness, hardest, you know, high priestess ever, then she gets, like, turbo mean. And you might be right. Hang on, if I can... You can chain her? Dude, free combos for free? Yeah, this is so much more manageable. Like, I've fought her twice now and I've already got her number. I spiked her by mistake. Ah, it's just me being rude. Hit it with the BM, you know. She's dead. Look, look so much cleaner, so much easier. Not even scared. The other dude straight up almost ruined the run. He almost killed me. And that's after picking up like five, maybe even... How many is that? Like like six or seven max life boosters? You will succeed in nothing. I mean, I succeeded in something. Although I really do need to learn that... New best time? Pretty sick. Okay. I really need to learn the second to last boss's moveset a little bit better, or at least when to punish him. With her, it's a lot easier. Dodge through the balls, start hitting. Dodge through the balls, start hitting. Chances are you're about to knock her in. And she gets juggled so much easier. Big dude, it feels like sometimes you hit him once and he's like, uh, psych, and he just hits you back <laughs> straight away. He is not, he's not playing like by the same rules. He is so mean. Um. Not gonna worry about... Nah, actually, I'm just kidding. I'll worry about this now. So second wind. I can survive a killing blow and come back with 30% more life. There we go. I've got my second wind. Yay! And I will get other masks by putting more points into other statues. I just really wanted to get that first. What else is left down here anyway? Second wind recovers 20% more life and unleashes a gale that does... Okay, that's pretty sick. So we get 50% life. Dude, just max out Shabra at the beginning. Like, all of his tree is super useful. Blessings from this spirit are 10% more likely to be a higher rarity. I think everyone gets this. Decrease incoming damage by 30% when you are hit while having full health. That's okay. It's pretty easy. Like, that's kind of hard to use. Because imagine you're at full health and then some tiny projectile from some meaningless grunt hits you and does like one damage. You've lost overgrown canopy. You've lost it. You need to have the mask on, I imagine, that we've got on now to get quick healing back. So you get hit, lose one life, and then quickly snap back, get your health back up to full. That's probably why. No, that's that's why. You need you need some healing synergy, and the best synergy with this would be the mask. Because you definitely have it by now. You always get it once you unlock halfway down the tree. Yep, that makes sense. Meanwhile, the Sister Horde Gauntlets and the Astral Cord Bow are now unlocked. We have all of the weapons, but something to be mindful of that I never messed with, that I think was another early access thing, are the alternate forms. I'm going to take a random guess and say, because I'm recording this straight after the, the last run, the Scythe one, this is just back-to-back -back recordings for me. So I haven't seen comments yet for the first video, but I'm going to assume that everyone's screaming at me, dude, you got to try the alternate forms. Don't worry, I will get to the alternate forms. They, As it says right there, it's a whole new you know, version of the weapon that has a new design and moveset, and this is for all of the weapons in addition to awakening bonuses, enchantments, buffs, bonuses. There's a lot that we still have to unlock, and by the looks of it, the weapon runes might in fact be the resource that I need the most of. But with all of that said and done, I've got to get out of here. I hope you guys have enjoyed another Blitz into Spiritfall, this time using the really cool Claw Blades with its Busted as hell, awesome aerial combos. I love it. And I will see you all again next time. Have a good one.